Hi guys, thanks for joining me here at Photo Tutorials. Um, it's another Capture NX2 um, tutorial I've got for you here, and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how uh, we, we use a, a, a the black point and the white point, which is these two things up here. That's your black point and that's your white point tool there, um, along with the um, this little threshold histogram down here. A double threshold and basically if you look at areas like this here um around near the stone and the headstones and and, and even even the highlights on the grass um what we're going to do is we're going to add a bit of contrast in the shadows and highlights and although that might sound tricky to do it's quite easy to do on nx2 so basically what we're going to do is we're going to go to this little device here double threshold and we're going to put a, a tick in there we're going to check that and once we've done that, if you look at the bottom of the histogram, you'll see two arrows. Now, this arrow on the right controls the highlights or the white control point. And as you can see there, it just adjusts some of the, well, the white highlights in the image. The one on the left, um, that controls the, the, the black point. Okay. So basically what we want to be doing is we want to be moving these in like so. Just so we can see a, uh, some highlight detail and some shadow detail creeping into the image there. So once we've done that, we can see we've got a little bit more detail coming in the highlights and shadows with that black point and white point. So what we do is we click the white point tool and, the, and we click on a white area and we use the black point tool and we click on a black area. And as you can see now, we've got those highlights shown. Um, a lot more detail in them and as you can see the highlights in this case is the grass that's before what you can see there and that's the after and you can just see how it's just brightened up that image put a bit more detail in the stonework in the shadows and it's just boosted those levels of contrast up on the mid-tones as well so basically that's what we aim to do and it's a simple little technique Okay, we can zoom in on these headstones and we can have a look and we can have a look at that detail there. I've just took that a little bit too far. I do apologize. Just go back out to fit screen and zoom in again. And as you can see, it's just lifted a bit of detail so that we can see the, sh the sort of shaded side of that headstone. And what we can do is we can add a little bit of sharpness to that. Um, just to zoom in on it and see the writing. And... Um, we're going to click new step and I'm not going to use the high pass filter. I'm just going to use the unsharp tool because it's quite a good little sharp tool. This It's a lot better using the sharp tool than it is with the uh, Photoshop smart sharpen tool. I think it's a, it's a one that I prefer to use, um, if not the uh, high pass filter. And as you go, we just check those two and we can see there as well. Um, there's plenty of detail there. You can see that... Um, you know that script on there, the text on the tombstone there, you can see it no problem. But as you say, this is a wonderful little technique, just using the black control point and the white control point with the uh, the double threshold histogram in NX2 to, to boost your contrast. It's a great way of getting your highlights and your shadows um, sort of well lit with contrast and give it a try. It's a really good technique. And I think you'll uh, you'll do well with it. Give it a try on some of your photographs. Anyhow, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.